Up until this point, I have not covered a lot on sublimation, so I'm here at Heat Press Nation, and you guys are about to watch me and Jared make this mug. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home. Where are we at? And today, we're doing exactly what I just said. Jared is actually teaching me today how to make this mug right after the intro. <laughs> So Jared, we got our mug here. Show me what we're doing. All right, so check this out. We're on sawgrassinc.com and we're gonna launch Creative Studio, which is great if you have, I know you have Photoshop, yes. but for our customers, our friends, viewers who don't have Photoshop, uh, it's really great because you can just go open up products and then you can go down. So many, so many templates, by the way. But we're gonna go to drinkware. And since we're doing a mug, we're doing a 15 ounce mug. So we're just gonna scroll real quick till we find, uh, 15 ounce C handle classic. That looks for, looks about right. And I'm just gonna go for the standard. And there we go. So we have our template open. Um, now I'm gonna go to images because we already have some stuff that's been pre-saved. Uh, but don't mind the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can do two things. You can either drag the corner and shrink it like this, or you could just hit this button right here and that's gonna uh, resize it for you. I'm probably gonna need to shrink it up. Okay. Here. And you see it has these grid lines right here, so that lets you know when you're holding the mug where the center is going to be. Really helpful having that right there. So we're going to line that up. And then we have one more. Oh no, not text. I mean, we could add text, but I'm just going to hit the delete key on that. Images. We're going to get stands of the logo. Now it'll import whatever size it is, so you can't even see it. That's how big it is. Stan doesn't mess around high res stuff. I'm going to shrink it down. There we go. So it's more manageable. And line it up right here. Center. And then here's something else you can do. You can go to object, align vertically to design area, and you see how that shifted? Yep. Actually, I'm going to do it to this one too, just to make sure that it's centered right there. And then there we go. Our mug is actually ready to print straight from here. I'm going to be honest. I got Photoshop experience and that was so fast. Like I normally make my own templates and, you know, go through the headache and stuff like yeah. that. But with Creative Studio from Sawgrass, it seems that this might be the way to go, whether you got design experience or not. Once you got your artwork popping in there yeah. and the templates all done for you guys. So what do we got next? So next we just send it to print. So we're going to go over here to the top of the screen, click print. And we're just gonna name this Stan's Mug. Now we, uh, because we're running a blank white outline, I'm gonna include the bleed line. Um, but if you're running like a full color graphic, you don't wanna include the bleed line. And you'll see what that bleed line is. It's just gonna show us where to trim the paper. Oh, oops. Sorry, I gotta rename it. They don't allow special characters, so I'm just gonna put Stan Mug. So what's cool about Creative Studio is when you send it to print, it links up directly with the Sawgrass. So you see that just downloaded here? Right. It's about to open it up now in my virtual so print manager. Yeah, that's a lot easier, I think. You there have to go. save it from Photoshop and open it up and go find it again. So now this is ready to go. Like, that's it. We can double check. I mean, if you wanted to make it like a black and white image, like not have any color, not sure why you'd want to do that, whatever. Um, but this is, you can see it's already ready to go. And we're just gonna click print. And then you guys can't see it, but my printer is like right here. So you can see it printed out. What's up? So a design like this should print in about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, if you have like, if you're covering the whole sheet with color, maybe a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Now you're gonna notice the color is a little bit lighter and kind of like faint. You see how it looks a little yeah. faint? Don't worry about that. Once we actually press it, it's gonna look fire. It's gonna be full, vibrant, really cool. So now, maybe we'll show this. So you see how it has a little corner marks? I'm not sure they can see it. Let me take it. You wanna show them? That's just gonna show us where we need to trim it down so that way it'll fit on our mug. So 
we're done with this here. I'm just gonna scoot this over. So here we go. So using these corner marks, that's gonna let me know where I need to turn the paper. And what's cool about sublimation is maybe you work with like inkjet transfer paper, you know the background, how there's a film that'll transfer onto your stuff. Yep. With sublimation, just the ink. So you don't have to be extremely precise. I'm just gonna kind of cut right in here. There we go, I made it inside the lines. And then I'm gonna cut on the inside. Now these little gray marks, if you don't, if you cut outside or if you leave some of that in there, it, it is gonna come off on the mug, so you don't want that. So again, going on the inside of the little gray mark, little corner mark. And you can see it's not 100% perfect, but that's okay. So do they have like specific paper for mugs that we can use or in, with the sawgrass printers or not? Yeah, so we're using a paper called Text Print R. Sublimation paper, you can actually see the watermark on the back. This is Text Print R. There's another paper that people like to use called text print XPHR. And the difference is XPHR, which is the other one, not this one, it, it releases more of the ink. So with sublimation, the ink turns into a gas, and then you press it onto your mug. With the XPHR, it releases more of that ink gas, which is good and bad at the same time. Like this is gonna be more true to color when we finish printing it. X, the other paper is gonna be a little bit more like oversaturated and co high contrast, which some people really like, some people don't. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, this is our mug. This is regular microfiber cloth. And what I'm doing is I'm wiping it down because if you leave any lint on there, what happens is the lint on the mug, it'll pick up some of the sublimation ink and it'll, it'll sublimate onto the mug. So you have little colored pieces of lint on your mug permanently forever. So we're gonna get some heat tape. Right there, a little bit right here. And now we're just gonna tape it to our mug. You wanna make sure that it's right side up. You wanna try it? Yeah. There you go. So you wanna make sure that it's right side up and then that it's, uh, well, so what I usually do is I'll hold it in one hand. And roll it around. And roll it around, yeah. So how far back do you start? Yeah, so uh, I'll grab it like by right here. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab it like right here and then I'll use it. So these should be evenly spaced. Oh, well, these are a little close to the handle today. Probably need to trim, trim it more. Trim it a little bit more. I think it'll be okay then. So you can do it like this, like go by how much space is right here. Or you could just like make sure one is perfectly lined up. Because if one's lined up, then the other one's going to be lined up. So you could do it like that too. He made it easy for us, guys. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta head over to the mug press and press it up. Yeah, it's ready to roll. The one thing real quick you do wanna do, and you did a good job, by the way, is you don't want there to be any gaps in the paper. When I say that, like, if you run your hand across the surface, there should be no, it shouldn't be loose. But you did it good. It's nice and tight. It's ready to roll. This shouldn't be a problem here. But if it was, uh, what I would do is I would just tear this little piece off, which is okay, because there's no ink on it. So it's not, it's not gonna be an issue at all. It'll be fine. All right, Jerry, so we got our design all printed, cut out, taped up, and ready to go. So what are we pressing this at? So we're gonna be pressing this at 385 degrees for 190 seconds using our signature series sublimation mug press. Now, the only thing we didn't do on camera is we didn't adjust the pressure. Uh, we have tutorials on that. I'll, you can show no, me. I'll cover it. Yeah, you got it. That's about the only thing we didn't do. And you see it right here, I'll let you drop it in. So you're just gonna center it with that, uh, oh, sorry, just coming from the side, yep. See, I'm a rookie. Center it, and then that's it, boom. Make sure the handle is centered. Got a nice firm pressure, and it's that easy, you guys. We'll see you in 185 seconds. Okay, so check it out, when you pull it out, uh, you're only gonna hold the handle. The handle will be safe to touch, the mug will not. So you can do two things. You can, if there's a piece of paper you can grab onto, like if the paper is sticking out, you can grab the paper, peel it off, or just be very careful with your fingernail. You can peel off some of the tape. So grab it, pull it out. Let's go take it to the camera. All right, you guys watched me burn myself last week. Oh. There we go, yeah, it's, we got that. That looks normal. So you, when you're peeling it, you kind of feel how hot it yeah, is. Yeah, you can definitely feel how hot it is. 
I'm looking at this and I like it, man. I think I'm gonna start using a mug press real soon, making some mugs and possibly selling my face. But everybody out there needs to know that the key to a good sublimation print, any full color print, is good artwork. So shout out to my character guy. There we go. And then we got we got the logo on the other side. I just burnt myself. Yeah, it's hot. It's very hot. And my little new logo here, tribute to Nipsey Hussle. I'm here in California. So I can shout that out too. You guys know over on T-shirt size, I like to get down to the numbers. And so Jared, tell me how much this mug costs, how much the paper and ink costs, how much we're into it, and how much we could possibly sell this mug for. So the awesome thing about sublimation mugs is that you have a really really like you have a lot of room for profit margin so this mug um, comes in a case of 36 and it averages out to about two dollars twenty two twenty five a mug um, when you break it down it's 36 mugs I think the case is like 80 bucks that's because this is a specialty mug it's a 15 ounce with the you want to show them how it has a black inside and then a black handle so it's not just a plain boring white mug all white mug it has some it has some cool character to it it's gonna cost just a little bit more but even then we're in at what 225 for the mug in ink, uh, if we would have covered the whole mug in ink, um, the ink cost would have been about a quarter. But because we just did a logo on the front, a logo on the back, uh, the ink cost is actually gonna be, I would guess, right around 15 cents or so. What you're gonna wanna do is, if you're making stuff like this, just in your mind, put aside a quarter per print. That way you'll have more than enough when it comes time to re-up on your ink. So that means we're in the mug about 225, uh, and then the ink and paper, we're somewhere around a like, sheet of paper. Yeah, a sheet of paper is like sixteen cents. I'm just going rough. I like to use. Simple there we go. Yeah. We're gonna say we're in the mug two dollars and fifty cents. There we go. And what could I sell this for uh, as my merch? What would you you know price this at? A, a blank, just all white mug, not with the cool black handle and inside. I would sell no less than twelve bucks. If you're signing for less than twelve bucks, you're cheating yourself, bro. Because it has that cool extra uh, feature, just a cool extra character. It makes it different. It stands out. It's nicer. Uh, 15 bucks, dude, like easy, especially because it's yours. It's not some mass produced stuff. This is specific to your brand. It's your merch, 15 bucks easy. So now what if I was doing this for a customer who wanted a bulk order? You know, what's the lowest bare minimum you think somebody should sell this at? So they're gonna wanna sell theirs for 15 bucks too. Right. So bulk orders, like me personally, cause I do some sites sometimes too. I don't take bulk orders for anything less than a case or two. Gotcha. And remember, cause you gotta buy it by, by the case. So for one case, maybe I would sell it to them for like 10 bucks. Gotcha. Because remember, you're still profiting seven, seven fifty a mug, you know, and if they want to order two cases, maybe drop it down to like seven or eight bucks. Um, depending on, on how much you're comfortable doing, um, it is a three minute press. So remember, there's a lot of time going into just cooking the things. So don't undersell yourself on your labor. So. No question on that. So you guys know a mug and a mug press is a good investment. Again, like we said, I just heard Jared say something that he does something on the side, which means I got to get him a special t-shirt side hustle member only. My man is going to get his t-shirt yeah. side hustle members only sweatshirt in the mail coming up here real soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to get a mug press, sublimation paper, sublimation, uh, what is it, substrates? Yeah, substrates, blanks, whatever you guys need. If you need any of that stuff, you guys can use my link hpn.tshirtsayasu and that'll let them know over at Heat Press Nation, my man Jared here that I sent you over and you guys can support the channel without any extra cost to you and allow me to keep this thing going. So I got a question for you guys. Who wants a mug? Put it down in the comments below. Go. I'll be there checking it out and don't be afraid when I send you that PayPal request. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this has been your boy Stan Banks here at Heat Press Nation with my man Jared. I can't even do it. Peace. <laughs> See you guys. Oh, 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 oh,